Windows 8 was so bad that Microsoft gave us holograms to make it up to us. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Microsoft revealed new details about the Windows 10 operating system. It showed us a new web browser that works with Cortana. It announced that you can cross-play Xbox games with Windows 10. It introduced a new digital whiteboard for the office and then just blew all that away with holograms. Microsoft is putting Google Glass to shame with a new type of headset called HoloLens. It projects images on these see-through lenses that you wear, so computer images appear to float in front of you. It's smart enough to know your environment, to know if there's a table in front of you or a wall. Microsoft calls it a hologram, but this isn't a Princess Leia Star Wars style hologram. No one can see it but the person wearing the glasses. The tech is called augmented reality. And with it, you can play games in your living room, use it as a teaching tool, or collaborate on projects. It runs completely wireless with several sensors that process terabytes of information. On Windows 10, you can build your own holograms with a program called Holo Studio. Think of it as the Microsoft Paint of the future. Microsoft demonstrated live how to create a quadcopter using a finger as a mouse and voice commands to change settings. We don't have a specific date when HoloLens is going to come out for consumers, but hey, looks like the movie Back to the Future 2, which is set in 2015, was on to something here. Windows 10 just seems so boring to talk about after holograms, but here's what you need to know. It's going to be a free update for Windows 8.1 and Windows 7 users, but we don't know what day it's going to come out. And this whole Windows 10 experience is going to be the same across PCs, tablets, and your smartphone. The design is what Windows 8 should have been. It gives you a desktop mode with a start menu. Even your Xbox One is tied into Windows 10. Games on your Xbox One can be streamed to your Windows 10 computer, and you can play Play Xbox Live across devices so a Windows 10 user can jump into a game with a friend that's playing on an Xbox One. Cortana is going to be a big selling feature of Windows 10 because this voice controlled assistant is coming to the PC. Cortana is also in a new internet browser called Project Spartan. This is different from Internet Explorer. It lets you make notations on a website by typing or drawing and you can share it to someone through email, Facebook or Twitter. This is also coming to Windows Phone. And businesses may be interested in the Surface Hub. It's a new type of whiteboard that runs Windows 10. This 84-inch 4K screen has built-in sensors and cameras, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, all sorts of tools to make meetings easier. That's your quick Windows 10 wrap-up update, but you can find more details at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.